One of my viewers pointed out that these metal cans just uh, just came off, so uh, they're on little clips. So I was brave enough to go ahead and take mine apart, so you don't have to. <laughs> and so uh, we'll go through the RF section here. Um, I was informed that maybe the schematic that I was using doesn't exactly match uh, the Tiny SA. I'm trying to get a hold of a uh, of a correct schematic, and uh, we will see what's going on here. But let's go ahead and uh, zoom into this, and we'll look at the RF sections. Um, and right away, we see that there's three cans, uh, and we can take a look at what's going on, and we can see the mixer there. So yeah, let's zoom in. All right, it's nice. It's labeled on the board here. So this is the zero to 350 megahertz section. So uh, here comes the input. And so this must be the attenuator. And then it runs into the mixer. And so the mixer is uh, the 25 mH from mini circuits. And then at the other connector is the uh, 260 to 960 megahertz section. And so I'll look in closer of what's going on here, but we can see there's an oscillator. And uh, I see, I'm not sure what that one's going to be. And then down here we have the same thing. So this, this is one of the receiver chips, and this is one of the receiver chips. Uh, so this must be the LO, I'm assuming. And uh, these must be the two saw filters um, for the IF frequencies and stuff. So I think we need more magnification. So let's uh, let's uh, put this under the uh, under the microscope. But let me show you the whole board first. So like I said, this is an input section for 350, the input section for 960, and then this is the receiver section that is the second IF and uh, DSP filters and things like that. And this is the uh, second uh, or the first. This is the first IF filter in hardware. And then the second IF filter is in software. And then uh, this is basically the digital section, the control section. And then uh, we have the battery. So yeah, let me, uh, let me fire up a microscope and we'll take a closer look. So here's the uh, input for the uh, 350 megahertz section, uh, capacitively coupled into the uh, step attenuator. So there is no input uh, filter. Uh, there is no input low pass filter. So it looks like it's going directly into um, going into the uh, into the attenuator. So that could explain some things. Uh, these little funny little things here, those are the clips that the uh, IF, the uh, shielding can goes over. So those, those uh, uh, go around the border of this section. Okay, so we go into the uh, attenuator. Uh, let's see, everything's upside down. Let me turn around <laughs> and then we can read it. Mm, why didn't I do that to begin with? All right, I'm looking through the microscope, so it's kind of hard for me to drive here. Just a second. Okay. Uh, so here's our input, backwards this time, uh, coming in, capacitively coupled into the chip. And then it runs over here. So there's a uh, filter, an L, uh, a PI, a CLC filter, uh, another part of the filter. And so... Uh, there is filtering after the attenuator. So instead of a before the attenuator, it's after the attenuator. Okay, I guess that's okay. So there is a filter. And then it runs into the mixer. And um, then we run over here. Now I'm kind of curious what that little guy there is. Why can't I... Why can't I think of what that guy is? Unless it's a uh, amplifier. 
Let's see. This is the, uh, am I turning it the right way? Yeah. So this is the 4432 chip. And get the lighting right on this thing. Just a second. Let me, uh, let me get a magnifying glass. I can find one here. You'd think I'd have a bunch of them. Let's see if I can read the part number on that little chip. It is an S169. Hmm. I don't know what an S169 is. I'll have to I'll have to look that up. All right. So, um so this is the uh, this is the high input. So the high input comes in, goes through a capacitor, and runs over to the chip or runs through this chip. Um, all right. And another three, another four, four, three, two. All right. And then in the R, so those are the two RF inputs. And then there is the uh, second part, which is a, all right, which is a saw filter, IF filter. Let me get here. Okay. So where does it come from? It's going to come from the mixer. So here's the mixer. And we're going to go along this trace here. And we're going to come into the IF filter which is a saw filter and then followed by a saw fil filter. So there's a, uh, uh, this is a saw filter with a LC filter on it. And then there's a CLC filter after that. And then there's a saw filter and then there's a CLC filter after that. So there's some, there's some other filtering besides. So, um, probably cleaning up the, uh, uh the, the two skirts and then it goes into a, into a chip. So those must be amplifiers. Uh, not shown on the original schematic, which I've been told is an older revision. So, um, looks like a, it looks like a amplifier and then it goes into the other receiver chip, which is where the second mixing happens and where the, uh, second, a, a narrower IF filters happen. Uh, those, those are all done in the DSP and those are the switchable filters. Um, and then the output of that, let's see here. I'm sorry. What am I looking at? So it looks like there is a 30 megahertz, um, crystal oscillator that 30 megahertz crystal oscillator is in the high section. And then in the receiver section, there is a battery management chip. And then that's the missing crystal. And then here's the, uh, uh, here's the microcontroller. And then it comes over here to a uh, section. Oops, I'm running out of room in my, my microscope. So uh, it comes over here to the battery charge circuit. So that first one must be just a, uh, a regulator. So what are the interesting things? Um, uh, let's see. Interesting things are there's an external 30, oops, I need to be able to drive here. There, uh, external 30 megahertz master clock into this chip. 
uh, there looks like there's some amplification. I'll have to look up that part number, see if I can figure that out. And like I said before, there are two 4432s that are kind of the, the two big sections. Those are both oscillators, mixers, and receivers, and filters, and all that kind of stuff all built together. And uh, the, uh, the two soft filters, uh, those are funny part numbers. I don't know if I can look those up or not, but supposedly those are 433.9 megahertz soft filters. And then they have some LC filters uh, around them. Uh, this is the, the mixer being used. The biggest, it's the biggest part of the board other than the battery. <laughs> uh, it's nice to see a row mixer in there. And then uh, there is a nice LC uh, filter. Um, after the, after the input, um, input attenuator. And it's nice to know everything's capacitively coupled. So you can't not, it looks like you cannot blow these things up by putting a DC on the connectors. Um, there is a, uh, capacitor directly on that connector. And yes, and a capacitor. Hmm. Not. Looks like there's actually a DC path over this direction. Uh, and then there's a resistor and then a capacitor. So it looks like it's also capacitively coupled on this side. So it looks like it's a safe DC on both, on both connectors. Anyway, um, I found it uh, interesting. It uh, it it's it's close to the schematic that I showed. I'm trying to find a uh, a true schematic for for this board, and if I get one, I'll I'll post it.